If you have a MacBook and you want to participate in debate and you want to download verbatim, there is a very high chance that you probably ran into a roadblock in which you weren't able to download verbatim because of a permission issue or because your computer thinks that verbatim is a virus. And here's a way to bypass that particular roadblock. So first, go to paperlessdebate.com, which is where you download verbatim. And since you're on Mac, you would go to the Mac installer and click that. You would choose a place to save that. I would choose the desktop and then it would download. Then you would split your screen in half and then the verbatim package will pop up on your desktop. And a problem that you might have faced in the past is that when you try to open this directly, then it would say that the computer thinks that this verbatim app is not free from malware. And so you probably were not able to download verbatim on your MacBook because of this particular issue. And so now you want to bypass that so what you'll do is that you'll hold control key on your keyboard and then at the same time you would, while you're holding the control key, you would press this particular app and then you would choose open with and hit installer. This way you can automatically redirect your app to the installer button. And so you would press open and then you would have to enter your admin password to allow this to happen. So after you've done that, this installer icon would pop up and then you would go through the steps on how to install. You would enter your password again. And then the installation will be successful. And so now verbatim is going to be on your computer. So every single time you open a document, you would not go th through Microsoft Word, but rather you would hit the verbatim icon and that would automatically open a Microsoft document through verbatim. And so now you would see the debate icon and this would enable you to access all of the formatting. We'll go over how to use the verbatim in the future, but this video is a primer on how to download it on your MacBook.